The following training is sponsored by the Niagara Library System. We serve our member libraries in Niagara, Orleans, and Genesee counties. Please visit your local library homepage and use your library card to get access to streaming videos, downloadable music, audiobooks, ebooks, and even more from the comfort of your own home. Thank you. Hello, hello. We are going to go through a short bit about um, applying for unemployment benefits in New York State. Uh, I realize that there have been some issues with this, and I also can tell you that it is uh, the New York State government, uh, the Department of Labor and that, that actually takes care of all of this stuff. So I'm only going to go so far, and I hope it will be useful to you. And actually, what I found most useful, I actually ran into at the very tail end of what I'm going to talk to. So I went through the tail end, and I brought it up here in the box here if you want to file online. Now, you do not have to, but if you want to file online, you must create a New York State ID account. You must have a valid email address that you can access in order to proceed in creating the New York ID account. Nioga Mobile, of course, have made a video on creating a free Google account, a Google email address. I will have the link in the description. Please subscribe, all of that stuff. But know this right now right from the start you do not have to have an email address you can apply on the uh, phone line and the phone line is right there it says it's 1-888-209-8124 and those should be called Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 7 30 p.m. I know the phone lines have been jammed and that's not always very good. If you want to try applying online, make sure you know your uh, email address and that you're familiar with using it because that's going to make life a lot easier for you if you choose to apply online for unemployment. All right, so after this, let's make sure that we find the correct website. It's always important, uh, as the United States federal governments, I actually found, are all standard in their web address format. And this was actually from the Health and Human Services, HHS government website. And, and it says right there, an official United States, this is the federal government website, has the .gov um, or .mil, M-I-L for military. Before sharing sensitive information online, make sure you're on a .gov or .mil site by inspecting your browser's address or the location bar up at the top. I will we'll talk about this, I'll show you this later in the video. These sites, they really are, they're also encrypted by SSL, which is the secure sockets layer, and that is that padlock that's up at the top. And we will look at this, I'll pull it up real quick. The very best way to apply, if you're going to apply online for New York State unemployment benefits, is to go right to the correct site and type in the exact address ny.gov. So it's ny for New York, dot gov for government. If you literally type in ny.gov, you will go to the correct site. Be careful, please, using any search engines, as sometimes results um, can lead to unofficial sites. And this is very rare, but it does happen. So please keep yourself from getting scammed and do make sure you go to the right site. Now, just to show you real quick, um, I went again to try and find official information on the states. And it turns out that the uh, every state in the United States doesn't have the same format. So a federal site is always the .gov site or .mil. That's at the, uh, at the, the nationwide level. When you're dealing with state level, everyone is a little bit different. And then if you go down to county level, everyone is a little different again. So um, I was curious though about this and I went to this website, which is from the uh, federal government. It's USA.gov. And you can actually find your official, if you did not know that ny.gov uh, was the official site to go to for unemployment, or you just weren't sure, you didn't really trust your Google results or, or your search engine results, and you just wanted to find out, you can go to USA.gov. You can find the state governments, 
and you click on the drop down and you find your state which of course in our case is New York and I've got that here New York and once you click on New York you then go ahead and click that little teal colored go button once you do this you can click on the word New York and you will go directly to the official New York State government website and I can't stress this enough it is ny.gov if you go directly to ny.gov, you can go directly here to where it says um, unemployment assistance. So let me go to the live website. So here's just, you know, basic Chrome browser. Any browser will do. You can use Edge, you can use Safari, you can use uh, Firefox, any of the major browsers will do. We will bring our mouse right here. We'll click once right up here in this address bar. And when we do that, we're going to type in literally ny.gov. Now I typed it in once, so it came up, but there it is. And then I'm gonna press my enter key on my keyboard. And I go straight, first of all, straight to ny.gov. Here it is. Here's the padlock with that security encryption. So it says your uh, information, for example, passwords or credit card numbers are is uh, private when it's set to, sent to this site. And uh, it does know, I think I blocked my location access. That's what that is. That's okay. The main thing, the main thing to be concerned with is the certificate. When we click on that, let me pull this into the frame, you'll see that this certificate proves my identity, that I am who I say I am, and it ensures the identity of the New York State uh, government that I'm talking to their computers and not some scammer who knows where. This is the official website and uh, this is the company and, that issued the certificate that says yes we're good to go and these are the valid dates. So you need to make sure that they are within that a good range that you're still within that time frame. Moving right along from here then, uh, I am on a desktop, and so sometimes if you are looking at your phone or whatnot, this may look slightly different, but what you're going to look for is either a search mechanism here, which is uh, always almost always shown with the little magnifying glass, uh, and it's got the word search, or I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit because I looked, and right here in the middle, right here it says unemployment assistance. And um, when I put my mouse over the picture, that doesn't do anything. But when I put my mouse over the words, that's the active button to click on. So that's what I'm gonna click on right now. This is the live site, so we'll see how fast this goes. And it takes me here right to the live uh, site for unemployment assistance. Please note it does say that the average time of transaction is 60 plus minutes. You have to plan for at least an hour in front of the computer to go through this process. Now, what I did like about this particular site is that they have this sectioned out very nicely uh, as to what you need to know, the overview of the process, your eligibility requirements. Let me just, this is the live site, let me click on this and we'll see what happens. And it tells you what you need to actually um, qualify for unemployment insurance. And then you can even estimate your weekly benefit amount by using the benefit calculator. Now, what becomes really important though, of course, is once we know um, that we can file is right here is the word file. So I'm gonna click on that and that is to file for unemployment. It tells you right away, it is best to apply for unemployment insurance online in the hours between 7.30 a.m. and 7.30 p.m. I think that's maybe for telephone assistance and things like that. Technically being online is a 24 seven proposition, it's always there, but sometimes the computers are taken down for maintenance or they require certain things um, and that kind of maintenance would be done outside of the hours of 7.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. They, the uh, generally IT maintenance is tried, they try and do that overnight. And again, right here, there's a nice big blue button that says apply online now. And this is where I, I ran into trouble. <laughs> um, as soon as I went, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I'll go and apply online. As soon as I click on this, it gives me the, the steps on what I need to do to apply online. So let me scroll through this. So this is what we just talked about. So I just put this in like the handout. 
So as soon as I clicked apply online, um, I do need to follow the directions on the screen. So I'm going to zoom in on this and this is the first um, screen that comes on and it literally says log in and then it gives you this big warning use of a virtual private network a proxy or internet service an anonymizer uh, will cause problems um, you may have heard in the news there's been some scamming and things and people trying to claim benefits from other countries it's just it's a it's a big rigmarole basically all this means don't be afraid of the screen what the screen is telling you is that uh, New York State wants to make sure that you are a New York State resident. You are you, you are. You wanna make sure that you're you and you, they're them and you're applying to the right place for the benefits. So this is fine, no big deal. I would go ahead and what I did from here was I literally clicked that login button. When I click the login button, it leads right here um, and it was nice and big, it was on the screen and it said that I needed my New York NY.gov ID. And that includes a username, a password, and then I do have to click the box that says I'm not a robot, so you know I'm at least a real person. And if I had an NY.gov ID, I would then put that information in and I would click sign in. For us though, and for myself, what I did was I did click don't have an account uh, and that's that little gray button and when I did that this is where I ran into my email problem it was way at the very end so just to show you here we are we're at the end of the handout the training and this is where I ran into the you must have a valid email it is very clear right here to obtain an ny.gov ID a personal user account personal it's I'm not considered a government worker, I'm not a business person. There were there were three separate categories um, and the first one was a personal account. And that's for you, that's for me, that's where we wanna be is a personal account. And that allows you, it says right here, to access online services that required your verified identity where you are acting as an, in an individual capacity, that is you're not a business, you're not acting on behalf of anybody else, yourself. And the uh, registration process is a two-part process. You can do the online registration. You walk right through, you enter your basic information, confirm, uh, and then you finish the online uh, registration. And then number two, and most importantly, or very importantly, uh, you need to make sure that you go into your email and activate. That is, they will the ny.gov will send a link to the email you provide them. You must get into that email and click or tap that link to verify that you are you. Now, I also wanna say this, sometimes we forget our passwords to our email. I can access my email through this, okay? So this is completely separate from, from what we're seeing here on the screen, all right? That's okay. As long as I can get into the email that I'm gonna put in for this user account, Okay. Even if I don't know how to log into it or I'm not sure uh, or I forgot the password, if I can get into my email here because I'm used to just going, oh, I do this, bink, 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 and then, oh, there's the email, and then I hit the email and it opens up, you can still do that here. Okay. You can also do this completely on your mobile device. As long as you have an internet connection, um, you can go, you can open up your web browser on the device. You can go to, again, very important, ny.gov, that's the official site, sign up for your ID, and then go in, and it takes an hour or more to apply online for your benefits, okay? Good luck, take care. I hope this was helpful. If you have any more ideas, let me know. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.